good hunter, you have come. Dawn will soon break. This night and this dream will end. Gammon awaits you at the foot of the great tree. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Farewell. Um, okay, so before we proceed... We need a, an umbilical cord. We need another umbilical cord. Yeah, so... Another third umbilical cord, whatever that is. Oh no! I can't, I can't get the umbilical cord. Crud! We should, we need, we should have done Ariana's quest line. Unless... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it counts though. We didn't count it, you know, we didn't count that for the, <laughs> for the, um, for the brain fluid ladies. Let's see, if I can get Yosefka to kill Imposter Yosefka, I would be okay with that. The problem is that she's not mobile at all. Oh, touche, Richard. Touche. Okay. Well, let's. <laughs> we'll 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 bring Yosefka along. <laughs> Hello, Extreme Tricks. Yes, we've already beaten the DLC. So, just a little bit closer. <laughs> okay. Now, stop it. Stop, Yosefka. Okay, I think I'm gonna use Shaman Bone Blaze once. If I can't. Stop, Yosefka, please. Okay. Get her, Yosefka! Get her! No! <laughs> Get her! No, the, the woman who turned you into this! Get her! Damn it! Wonder if I can hit Yosefka with it. Oh, shit! <laughs> Yosefka, just can you relax, please? I avenged you. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> oh, man. No, Raze, this is a. You can't summon in this area. Mercy killing has occurred. I was hoping that she would get up out get up and attack you, Sefka. Oh man. Is she still behind us, I wonder? 
Because now I'm curious of what she's doing. She's probably just standing there. Pyro3337. Thank you for the follow, friend. Welcome to the Rant King Covenant. Much appreciated. Um, so just briefly, since we were talking about it earlier. This is... Uh, I think that this is the Blood Minister. I think it was Richard who first raised that possibility. And notice, just note that everyone in the clinic that was there at the time we first received blood administration is accounted for. Uh, and there's a wheelchair here. And though wheelchairs are all over Yarnum, there was someone in a wheelchair who could not have left in a wheelchair, um, who was no longer there. And there's the body there. So maybe that's the blood minister. I'm going to buy DLC today. Would you like to help me out? Um, I would love to, but unfortunately I've been streaming. This is like my 30th hour streaming in four days. So after we finish this run, I'm going to call it a night. I apologize. Hunter is never alone. All right, let's munch on some umbilical cords. But good luck, Extreme Tricks. The effect is also different when we're crushing the umbilical cords. So, here's a madman's knowledge. Or maybe it's the same. Let's see, that's madman's knowledge. Here's Great One's wisdom. And umbilical cord. I can't tell. Can we report 18 for not keeping jump down to L3? Yeah, oh my god. Or, yeah. B team got a lot of things right for being B team. It looks like the cold blood and man man effects combined. Interesting. Um. We'll have to slow that down and do a side-by-side -side of the three of them at some point. Gammon away. Very well. Have to crack them all and put them all side-by-side -side or something like that. Okay, so... If anyone out there has their hunter's dream in this... Oh, I guess I gotta aggro Garmin first. So this, this is the, the moment of truth then. Um, do I have at least one person who has their hunter's dream in this state? Because otherwise I'm going to take the uh, Yarnum Sunrise ending. Oh, okay, Richard, awesome. So he <laughs> saved me the work of having to do it. <laughs> side by side. HW guys ready? Okay. Alright, let's go aggro gamer then. Because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't like forcing people to progress in their game. All right, awesome. Oh, I love this place. Like, it's so beautiful. I like you can see, like, a seam in the sky right here. I think that's just a bad skybox. No, I don't want to reawaken. No, stop it. I think um, one of these poles Richard was saying was the closest. And yeah, pretty, pretty cool. But so does that mean that the sun we or the the moon we see is always different depending on the place? All the gravestones. Yeah. It's 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 incredibly striking, especially with Garmin just sitting there, and you're just like, "What is fucking happening here?" 
these graves behind him. Uh, Shredder, we've we've come to the possible idea that the um, poles are holding up the next layer of whatever is stacked on top of the Hunter's Dream, based on the design of the DLC, which has the world stacked on top of each other. And the Great Tree as well, which matches nothing. that we really see in the waking world. Nice. Uh, no, they're not lumen flowers. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely not saying that it's not of significance, but just that uh, I'm not the expert on it. Uh, this person is, however, so I will just quickly copy and paste that into the chat by Richard, one Richard Pillbeam who's in the chat right now. All right. Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. <laughs> dear, oh dear, what was it? The hunt, the blood, or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt. See you, Gammon. <laughs> Here we go, everyone. This is it. Excuse me. Oh, Septango. Richard. So it's awesome. We got a rush and Rick Richard here. Thank you, Sadako. Whoa. Does he always buff right at the start like that? Holy shit. What? What did I even get hit by there? Oh, like his wind attack. It's been so long since I fought Garmin, like a really long time. Like since I made that Garmin video like four months ago. Yeah, me neither, me neither uh, HW guy. Oh my god, Arash almost got taken out. Hi, Gearman. <laughs> Hex. 
Jesus. <laughs> Slam! Suck! Suck! Slam! Slam! <laughs> it's like a Street Fighter character. Hey, is your end? Yes, you did. Suck! Slam! Suck! Slam! Kieran is like, yeah. <laughs> It's such a great boss fight, though. And in in retrospect, now having fought Maria, I think I think the Maria boss fight enriches both, uh, and the Gearman boss fight really complement each other well. Uh, I am partial to neither, really. I enjoy them both on their own merits. He came for Richard's head there. <laughs> Sorry, Logan. <laughs> I, I never even noticed that there were graves, like, in the ground, too, like, uh, gravestones not standing up. I don't know what, what to call them, what you would call them, but tombstones instead of gravestones? I don't know. Although they look to just be broken, actually. I'm assuming Richard's saving some of his Quicksilver bullets for... The moon presence. He jumped to this last phase at the start of the boss fight. It was crazy. Maybe that's what happens with the summons? Grave markers? Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, thank you, uh, Dark Ren. The night. Wrecked. Old Hunter Badge. Although it's unclear as to what happens to Garmin, uh, if you select, or if you be if you ascend to a great one, so the ending that we're going for, it's actually unclear as to what happens to Garmin. So one ending is unequivocally bad for Garmin, the Yarnum Sunrise ending, because you know he has to con he continues being the Moon Presence's uh, captive. Still held captive. God, the, the design on this boss is freaking incredible. Like, wow. And where's the moon now? So the moon is blood red now, and it wasn't previously. So it's like the moon presence descended into the hunter's dream from the waking world. Yeah, uh, I think I think Garmin's probably dead. Like I think it's the same way that when you kill 
um, Mikolash. That Mikolash, he recognizes that, well, he recognizes that he'll forget things, but not necessarily that uh, he's dead. Full stop. I hate that attack. Um, but I think he just wanted to be freed. Um, as in, he wanted to die. So he finally gets a rest in peace. Yeah, Shredder. But if we become a great one, do we just keep Garmin on? Does Garmin then take over for us? Do we become the Moon Presence or something else? Well done, team. So lots of questions and, and lots of things we'll have to talk about when Let's Talk Lore progresses to this point. Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. What the fuck? <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> yeah, so it's very interesting. Um, I love the way how when she's holding, she's holding uh, us, that her thumb moves, so like she's like slowly caressing us. I'd love them. Had to get your your permit apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Screw immersion. So yeah, there we go, run complete. We killed all the bosses in the in the main game, not in the Chalice Dungeons, but we killed all the bosses in the main game. Approval. Approval to all of you guys, you guys did the work. No, she twitches her index finger in the workshop. But like, it's, you know, something you do. Like when you're, you you want to show compassion for someone, or that you know you feel them or you love them, you slowly move your fingers. Or at least that's I don't know something that. So I think it's just a nice little touch, but it really does show how human-like the doll is. Contagious kitten, thank you for the follow, friend. Welcome to the Rant King Covenant. Much appreciated. Is it the same finger? It's the the index finger, Richard. Of course, she does love you. Is that not how I made her? <laughs> okay, I'm, uh, the reason we're watching the credits is I would like to see the old Hunter's credits, even though Richard's already filled me in on it. It'll be good to have the footage as well. Oh, and we just reached 2,000 chat lines, or 2,000 messages, 2,001. It's the exact same animation, interesting. So do you think that, so that must just be the the model being idle then? From now on, you'll live in a terrarium cared for by the doll. Yeah. Well, presumably we we would have to learn how to ascend and take moon form, but how would we do that? Oh wait! Oh, I just missed the. Did I just miss the new credits? Retired hunter Jura. Wildblood Hunter Alfred, Hunter of Hunters, Patches of Spider Vicar Amelia, Gatekeeper Lawrence, Yarnamite Male, Female, Mob A, Mob in Wheelchair, Mob Woman, Male Protagonist, Female Protagonist, Messengers, Lady Maria, oh, those are the different character voices. Falter, Simon the Herald, Braider, Research Hall, Patience, Befuddled Villagers, Baneful Chanters, 1 and 2. Nightmare Hunters 1, 2, and 3. It's so really not a lot of information. All signed and so so uh, to whomever it was earlier... Nah, so you see, he's inside. Universe. He's inside of the clinic. This is the room that we wake up in. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. 
And then we find a wheelchair that looks a lot like his in the hallway. He's missing. And we find the dead celestial. Well, you become a great one. We become a, a person or a thing whose motivations we couldn't possibly comprehend. The wet nurse, but I guess instead of breastfeeding us, she's feeding us blood echoes from whoever the next Pelbut hunter is. Could be like a way the cycles would work. It said I got summoned into your game, then my game crashed. Man, I have the buggiest game in existence. <laughs> oh, shit. Not the wet nurse, but a nurse for you since you're a baby. My question then is, who is the wolf eating at the beginning? I don't think it's supposed to be anyone. We can go have a look. And I think that this is mostly symbolic. To suggest that when the beast blood... When, when the scourge of the beast came to touch us, the messengers who are also pale, uh, we have an antibody of sorts. And then the messengers realize that we're special. Yeah, HW guy, that's, that's, yeah, my view as well. I think that was what Red, I think Redgrave ah, argued that. You found yourself a hunter. There are two bodies that's eating, but they're not the minister, yeah. <laughs> I like that we finished off the game in our honorary Edgar gear. So let's go see. So since it's New Game Plus now, I'm okay with hurting enemies. <laughs> but we'll just use our fists, how about that? Get wrecked. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, the, not the blood minister. Those are just normal hunters. Yeah. They're both just normal mob enemies. If there were one of them, maybe Edgar DLC one game or spit on self game, yeah. If you do become the moon presence, why would you want that end? Wouldn't you want to break the cycle? Um, that's where, that's kind of like the narrative, the narrative conversation stopper with the great ones is that, but it, it does at least for me always seem to, to lead back here. And that is, um, it's, it's, impossible for humans to inc it's impossible for humans to comprehend the great one's um, motivations yeah the moon presence wants the cycle but not if uh... okay so um, the reason we're not using a weapon extreme tricks is that we just completed a pacifist run and now I'm just messing around yeah because we ate the three umbilical cords But just from eating some great one, once we kill the moon presence, we become one. I don't fully understand the mechanics, uh, story-wise, of the umbilical cords either, but it seems to give us eyes on the inside. I think that's going to do it for tonight. And I don't know when I'll stream next. I will, of course, try to stream, but uh, I need to get back to work starting New Year's Day. And uh, my feet, thank you for the follow, friend, and welcome to the rant, King Covenant. So tomorrow I'm going to New Year's Eve party, so I'm not going to be streaming. Um, and then, yeah, New Year's Day, I need to get back to work. Uh, although the university doesn't open until the 4th, but yeah, I've been streaming basically for four days straight. Um, but I've had a blast, and I hope that each of you have as well. If you're watching later on YouTube, I hope that you've enjoyed it too. And uh, yeah. Thank you all very much for joining me. Uh, for to everyone who helped out with co-op, to everyone who was active in the chat, and uh, to everyone who, yeah, even if you uh, weren't active in either of those things, even if you're just watching, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, likewise, Richard and and everyone else, the Memetin, Slim Cali, 
Mordecai, for the people who were here all along, for the people who just joined briefly, yeah, very much appreciated all of it. And um, uh, no, I do not have a wife, Extreme Tricks. <laughs> um, thanks for everything, seriously. Well, my pleasure, Ghost Hardware and another Spectre. Um, Dark Rend 80, X Shredder 84. Um, if anyone would be willing or able to help another Spectre, that would be fantastic. I would, but I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm wiped at this point. So, uh, no worries, Extreme Tricks. It's all good. So, thank you all very much once again for joining me, and I will see you next time. Where's my wave? There it is. Bye-bye.